Welcome. In front of me is a Samsung Galaxy A42 and today I'll show you how to go through the setup of this phone. And when you boot it up for the first time, you'll be presented with the welcoming screen that you can see right over here. And all you really need to do is press on the arrow and from here select your language, which for me it's going to be English. And then let's go to next and we have connect to mobile network. So from here we can turn it on and connect to Wi-Fi or Actually, it's not Wi-Fi, it's the, uh, it's the 4G or 5, uh, not 5G in this case, but I don't even have the SIM card, so I can just kind of go to the next part here. And then on the next page, we do have some things we do need to agree. So as you can see, end user license agreement. So this one needs to be agreed to, and basically everything else is optional. So you have send, uh, sending of diagnostic data, information linking, and some other stuff so i'm gonna keep it off but if you were interested in it you can check it on if you want to and if you're also not sure what it does you can tap on the details as you can see and when you do it will open it up and you can read it uh, and exactly know what it does from there let's go to next and from here we can connect to wi-fi and if you do have a Wi-Fi near you, you can connect to it. If you don't, you can simply skip it by tapping right here. And the only thing you will miss out is the ability to log into Google uh, account throughout the setup and also uh, restore the device from a backup on the cloud. Um, but other than that, you can still do that later on in the settings. So it's not like you lose every anything permanently here. And then we have copy data uh, or apps and data. Uh, so this will allow you to do it, I believe, through an application. Uh, so if you want to copy your old phone's data to this one, go right ahead. I'm going to set it up as new, so don't copy. Then we have date and time. Um, and it is incorrect for me. I believe this is because the Wi-Fi is off. Uh, the time zone is okay. Uh, the date uh, is not, and the time is not. So if you want to change it, you can either well, connect to Wi-Fi and it will set automatically or do it manually like I am right now. So today is December, what, December what exactly? Because I'm not exactly sure. It's December 15th. Okay, there we go. Okay. And time is 11.15. So let's go to 11.15, there we go. And now it's set. So let's go to next. Google services. Um, so you have a couple services here, uh, location, scanning, and send user and diagnostic data. And you can read, again, exactly what they do, but in short version of it, uh, location uses uh, your GPS tracker to uh, to basically track. Uh, now it's used by things like uh, Google Maps, so it gives you an accurate route using uh, your maps as a navigation for your car, as an example. Then allows scanning, allows the device to scan for things like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and stuff like that. And then I would have send user and diagnostic data. So it gathers basically data on how you use the device and sends it to Google. Now, if you don't want any of those, you can disable them. Uh, but later on, if you want to change it, so if you want to use GPS navigation, you can simply uh, pull down the notification panel and you will have a toggle for it. Or if you try to use it and some app requires it, it will just tell you that it needs access to it. And if you confirm it, it will turn it on automatically. So it's one of those settings that can later on change it anyway. So let's stop on accept. And then we have protect your phone. So we can set up a couple different ways of protecting it. So default ones um, that we can choose one out of them uh, is the finger, uh, the pen pattern or password. Those are the three that we have to choose one of. And then we also have a fingerprint and face recognition. And if you choose to go with fingerprint or face recognition, you will be required to choose one of the three below ones. So pin pattern password. Um, but if you want to only have a physical way, so one of these three, uh, then, sorry for the shaky cam, uh, then you don't actually need to, then you don't need to set up a fingerprint or face recognition. It's only uh, only the two first ones do require an actual physical unlocking method. So if something happens with key, for instance, if you go with face recognition, you drop your phone, lens cracks, um, you're then unable to unlock the device. That's why you still have the 
uh, one of these options here. Uh, same with fingerprint, screen cracks. It might not read your fingerprint correctly. Without it, you can't get access to the phone. So I'm gonna skip it anyway. Just kind of wanted to give you an overview of this. So skip anyway. And then we will have sign into your Samsung account. Again, this is completely optional. And it also, if you try to skip it, it will give you a message what you're actually skipping on. If you choose not to sign into Google or into Samsung account. And honestly, um, personally, I just prefer to sign into Google and not bother with the Samsung. A lot of the things that you can get from Samsung are accessible through Google. Uh, so things like Samsung Cloud, Google Drive, uh, Bixby, uh, Hey Google, uh, Galaxy Teams, Play Store, uh, Find My Mobile, uh, also Find My Device, uh, Samsung Pass, well, I guess that doesn't have an alternative, uh, Galaxy Store, again Play Store, uh, Secure Folder, okay this might not have an alternative uh, because it's just uh, I believe part of this phone itself. So it might have like one or two things that, that are exclusive uh, that might you might use but if for instance those two things for you are uh, not important then you probably like me and you won't bother with signing in because google has everything that you want anyway and then we're all done so let's finish it up and there we go we're now on a home screen so that is how you would set up your device and if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching